Hello YouTubers and fellow hams. Well, in my uh, recent Linux video, I had a comment about something called Skywave Linux, which I had not heard of. So I took a look at it and I thought, hey, I should do a video on this because this is pretty interesting. Um, I'm also going to do a part three on uh, Linux for hams that's going to be running uh, Windows applications natively under Linux. We'll talk about that. So that, that'll be coming up in a couple of days. But today we're looking at Skywave. Now, what is Skywave? Uh, Skywave is a distribution of Linux. Somebody took Ubuntu and they pre-configured a whole bunch of software that's related to using SDRs, software-defined radios. Um, also, uh, a couple of nice shortcuts for uh, web streaming, internet streaming of uh, software-defined radios, and some other stuff. Um, but it's all pre-configured and set up for you so you don't have to go through the hassle of setting up the software. And it's a live CD. Now, for you Windows guys um, that aren't aware of what a live CD is, a live CD is a, a live desktop operating system that you can boot directly off of the CD or USB stick and use without ever touching the hard drive in your computer. They did that so you could try out um, different distributions of Linux without having to install them first. Uh, but it's also pretty useful if you just want to play around with something. You know, So in this case, Skywave Linux... Uh, if you wanted to just play around with a bunch of this SDR software without going through a full install, it's already all configured for you. Uh, you can just boot up right off of a USB stick, play around with it, do what you want to do, and then shut down, pull the stick, and boot your computer back up under Windows or whatever your uh, regular OS is without uh, anything being changed at all. So it's definitely painless to check it out, and it's pretty cool. So let's get right into it. I'll just move myself off to the side here. And this is Skywave. Um, they have you this nice, pretty desktop with these dishes on here. Now, it has uh, preloaded and stuck over here on the uh, taskbar um, several programs that are really nice. Uh, we've got uh, a front end for internet streaming. Um, oh, look at that. I just noticed some other stuff. Sorry. <laughs> we got a front end for... Uh, internet streaming um, uh, servers that are out there. We have two SDR programs, GQRX, uh, Cubic SDR. Uh, we have a server for open web, which means you can use your hardware and serve it to the internet so other people could listen to it. FL Digi is in there for uh, uh, decoding digital modes or encoding digital modes. Dump 1090, now this is really cool. This is for tracking airline uh, flights by actually receiving their transponders directly. Um, and I see that we've got some other stuff up here. QT Radio, um, QT Radio Soft Rock, RTL HP SDR Server. Uh, it's got a ton of software in here, um, all set and ready to go. Uh, so anyway, let's look at a few things, shall we? Now I have an RTL SDR USB dongle already uh, connected up. So if I go in here to uh, GQRX, which is the receiver that I would normally use it with, um, it sh well, it, we'll see, we'll see. It's supposed to be pre-configured to uh, automatically work with your hardware. So I should just be able to hit play, right? Well, yep, that's my, uh, my dongle. Let's see if we can hear a uh, local radio station. Yeah, there we go. Uh, mode, FM, stereo. Yep. I'm not going to turn the volume up because there's music playing. I, I Hopefully you can hear in the background that there's something going on. But trust me, it's working. So uh, GQRX, normally you'd have to go through and do a bunch of setup in here to get your hardware working. So it's pre-configured and it's working. That's nice. Uh, let's see, we've got uh, Cubic SDR. This is a new one in the Linux world. Uh, I haven't seen yet. And uh, okay. Ah, it went out and it found my device. Um, there's my RTL. So we'll select that and we'll hit start. Oh, just that easy. Oh, yep, music. All right, 
There, I'm gonna put that to static. <laughs> it's working. So uh, this is another SDR program. Well, it'll be interesting to play around with this some more and see what all it can do. I see our modes are over here. Um, yeah. All right, well, anyway. This video is not about digging into this particular software. This is to looking at what software is available on Skywave. So we've got a couple of SDR programs available to us. Um, this, Web SDR and Open Web RX servers, is a front end for remote SDR receivers. Now, around the world, people have set up SDR hardware with a server. So you can connect to it remotely and tune across the RF spectrum. It can serve multiple users. So multiple people could be using the same SDR radio and listening to different parts of the radio spectrum at the same time. It's really cool. Basically, sitting where you're sitting, you can go into a web browser and go to one of these um, web SDR servers and listen to an HF radio in another country or another part of your country. Um, it's, uh, it's pretty handy. I've actually listened to my own signal when I was transmitting. Uh, I'm in Indiana, and I found an SDR uh, in Arizona, and I actually listened and heard my own signal echoing back at me so I could see how I sounded in Arizona. So we've got a front end here for Web SDR, which is the, the popular, um, or was the popular uh, web uh, software defined radio server and that just launches Firefox and takes us to the web SDR site and then we can scroll down and pick a radio to listen to like uh, here's one in uh, Sweden and it shows you the frequency ranges they cover and you just click on the link and there you are and we can listen to this web SDR radio It's a pretty neat interface for being a web-based thing. Um, you can see the bandwidth that you're listening to and the current mode you're in. You can uh, just grab the edges of it and narrow the filter down. Uh, you can use the mouse pointer to scroll and uh, zoom, tune around. It's, it's pretty neat as, uh, as a software-defined radio goes. And right now I'm listening to an HF radio in Sweden, so that's uh, that's pretty interesting. So there's some JT65 guys in Sweden. <laughs> so that's Web SDR. The other one is uh, Open Web RX, which is a fairly new SDR server. And if we hit OK, that's probably going to do the same thing and just open Firefox, yeah, and take us right to their website. Or we could scroll down and uh, pick a receiver that we want to listen to. Here's one in Virginia. I'll just click on that and we'll go and... Uh... And here we are. Listening to WWV in Virginia, US. <laughs> yeah, so... I'm not going to dig too deeply into this stuff. I'm just showing you what Skywave has pre-configured. So that's a nice front end for web SDR software. Down here we've got Kodi, which is a media player. Um, if you have streaming media on a local server, movies, music, and whatever, you can play that uh, with Kodi. And also play internet streaming sources like internet radio, broadcast radio, and stuff. Now, Dump 1090. This is cool. Uh, there's an open source project uh, for the RTL dongle or any, of, any SDR that allows you to directly receive the transponder beacons from commercial airline flights that are overhead. So when air, commercial airplanes flying overhead, they're beaconing out their altitude, their airspeed, their direction, um, you know, all that information that's then tracked by the ground so they can keep track of the flights. Well, you can receive that information with your SDR. Setting that software up is a chore. I've done it before manually, and it took me almost an hour to get everything working right. Here, it's already configured for you. If we click on that, all we have to do is put in our latitude and longitude. So let me go find my latitude and longitude real quick. 41.08, 85.14. Okay, 41.08, 85.14. Frequency correction, I know I'm about 30 parts per million off on this dongle. I've already calibrated it. Okay. 
ignore this error. Um, the web browser came up before the background server came up. So in the background, we've got a server now that's connected to my RTL dongle and is receiving the airline flights. If I hit try again, there we go. For some reason, it wants to default us over China. We'll zoom out here and we'll move over to the US where I entered my coordinates here and zoom in on Fort Wayne. And as you can see right now, I'm hearing three commercial flights. That one's at 34,000 feet, almost directly overhead, coming in from the east. And uh, we should be able to see its flight number. Oh, okay, flight number 1361, that doesn't tell us much as far as, you know, what it is. Um, we're also hearing a United Airlines flight here. Uh, this one is an American Airlines flight. That's that United Airlines. So we can sit here and we can watch the, them passing by. Oh, there's one over in Ohio that's east of Defiance. He's a long ways away that I just heard his beacon. And there's his information. He's at 35,000 feet, going at uh, 414 knots, at uh, two, tracking at 229 degrees. Now they give you a links here to the... Uh, usual websites that would give you actual more more actually more status and information on those flights flight information well that was redundant wasn't it so you can click there to find out more about the flight but it's just fascinating to see these airplanes that we're receiving their telemetry data live and it's cool that this was all set up for you you didn't have to go through the configuration because believe me it was a lot of work so, you know, that's just a glance at SkyWave Linux. There's, there's obviously more software in here that uh, we could talk about. Um, here's a, an SDR server. Uh, here's another um, SDR receiver program, you know. and uh, uh, Red C RDS decoder. I'm not sure what that's for. I have to look it up. So definitely there's a lot more software <laughs> in SkyWave Linux. <coughs> if you go to the website, there's more information, including a list of uh, the available software that's in the uh, distribution. And uh, as I said, it's a live CD, so uh, it doesn't, uh, doesn't cost you anything to uh, download it, boot, burn it to a USB stick, boot it up and play with it, and uh, see what you can do with it without having to go through an install. I hope you found this interesting. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're not already a subscriber, click to subscribe. Join us on the Facebook channel for discussion about the videos. And if you'd like to help support this channel, please click to support me on my Patreon page.